King Charles III's relationship with his daughter-in-law Meghan Markle was not much of a publicized matter in the United Kingdom, but it seemed that their relationship was meaningful, especially after the king stepped in to walk the Duchess of Sussex down the aisle. According to Best Life, a royal expert claimed that King Charles did his very best to include Meghan in the family, adding that their lack of relationship is on her. Meghan recently openly discussed Prince Harry and King Charles's relationship issues, which further raised speculations that the two were no longer close. Royal author Angela Levin told The Sun that King Charles gave his all to establish a relationship with Meghan. However, the former suit star's desire to be number one in the family was the reason why their relationship failed. In addition, Levin claimed that Meghan returned the king's efforts with no enthusiasm. Levin further noted that when the king was first introduced to Meghan, he did think that she was a breath of fresh air and he was happy that the Duke of Sussex found someone to get married to. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Angela Levin has also discussed King Charles III's relationship with his two daughters-in-law and their differences. The royal expert noted that there were massive differences between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton, noting that it comes down to family attitudes and respect. The royal author said Kate comes down from a stable family where if there are any arguments or disputes, they work very hard. Levin noted that Meghan comes from a broken family, which can be one of the reasons why she can just cut people out of her life, especially if they say anything that might not be praised. Levin said the Princess of Wales is also a family person, and she does not cause trouble, even if she is not wholly pleased with something. On the other hand, Meghan takes a stand when she is not pleased with something. Levin said King Charles and Kate now look at each other when they go to an event or go to an engagement. The royal expert noted that they are both very relaxed with each other, they smile, they laugh, and they are at ease. Markle has already slammed the royal family in an interview, wherein she said that Prince Harry claimed they were trapped. Angela Levin pointed out that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle said many lies during the televised interview with Oprah Winfrey in March last year, claiming there were over 30 lies in the interview. Levin took a jab at Meghan's claims about her own mental health struggles in the interview. She noted that she was not saying that the Duchess of Sussex was not depressed, but that it's not the fault of the palace. During the Oprah interview, Meghan claimed that conversations had taken place and questions had been raised about the color of her then-unborn child's skin, referring to Archie. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did not name the member of the royal family that allegedly made the comments. However, Harry noted that it was not the late Queen Elizabeth II nor Prince Philip. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel.